only personal memories of the Harlem Theater. Do I do? <laughs> do I do? I remember Harlem Theater because it was always the brightest spot on that street because of the big neon light saying movie theater mm -hmm. um, that you could walk up to the window and order a chili cheeseburger or a chili dog or the hugest pickles you've you ever seen in your life <laughs> <laughs> without it having going into the theater, you know. Yeah. Um, having the double seats where you can be cozy with your loved one. And you didn't have the double seating throughout the place. You had up here, you had it down there, you had it over here. All the, the, the movies that you could possibly think of that we really wanted to see, they were, they were there. And that was just one of the many stops. If any other stops there was, I wasn't familiar with them because that was the only place that we really could go as kids, you know, besides the parks. Um, yeah. My grandmother had a club almost right next to it. That was the Aristocrat um, Club, and then there was my grandmother's club right next to it, which of course I wasn't allowed to go to because I was too young. Yeah. <laughs> But I could always go in and say, hi, Granny, you know, and yeah. zip on into the movie theater. And then just a few doors down, her sister had a club, which was the um, White Swan, which is now the King's Bee. Okay. And, um, you know, I slip through there and say hi to her, but better not cross the street too many times because Miss Bees, she'll hear about it. There's mm -hmm. something about the neighborhood. If you did something that was out of place, it always got back to them. 